blind to nature. Would you mind if I thought of you as the galaxy's calmliest nebula? But you are far lovelier even, and even more heavenly still. I love how you drift along in that way, how your beautiful hair beautifies a drifting setting, like art that depicts new starling a borning, or how you smile like the prettiest painting in space. Upon dawn, how such endless vibrancy you don, as they after dusk keep loveliness emitting. But like all things to which we grant a name, to all things we deem a counterpart, in all aspects come progress or civil bane. With empty vacuum, nebulae share the land, as such ornate art on such a dark canvas. Unlit vacuum is night, they are the day. Thus we may name them beauty and the blackness. Daylight, though, with you must share a diadem, while twilight is shared with stark blankness. There, your diadem, so gemmed as it is, to fully do you justice just cannot be gemmed enough. For the essence of you by nature's poetry pales by comparison, second only to holding our love. Nature boasts an infinite echelon of beauty, yet there is a woman whom in beauty she surpasses. She outdoes the filaments of cosmic nudity. Even she outshines the brightness of starry masses. To galactic paintings I have built immunity. To her makings have eyes befallen such impasses. You breathe by the lushness at Earth's command, as in all things natural and organic. But by your comeliness, nature is abandoned. By you, from my sight, nature is banished. As I every day see it, by complete emptiness you stand, eyes with blinded as if by magic. The void bears nothing to complain about, for to be by beauty is to the void's advantage. On this earth, to me, every patch of green now lies below a mantle of ink. Except for you, there is nothing I see. There are no morning songbirds singing in the trees. For me, there is no nature upon which to think.